Drag is art. It's all about taking something simple and making it beautiful. Transforming a blank canvas into a masterpiece. Becoming a drag artist isn't something you suddenly decide to do. It's always been a part of who you are. The significance is in the moment you decide to express it. When I was younger, I would look around at the men impersonating women, and it would bring me so much pride and self-belief. Being transgender, however, I felt it was my birthright to become a part of this world that I so adored. So, when I was 21, I painted my face, I put on a pair of heels, and from that moment on, I would be known to the world as Miss Shanghai Lily. I think it's important to point out the fact that while I talk about being a drag queen as something that's creative and expressive, of course, it also acts as a magnet for attracting attention that's much less welcome. As drag queens, as well as thick makeup, we need thick skin. I'm not saying it's right for people to insult and abuse drag the way that they do. However, if a drag queen can't take it, then how are they going to last in this world? I suppose not many people dress up with insults to go out. We, the homosexuals, have no choice. Insults are for us an almost epistemological variable. We have learned to know our fellow beings through their insults, and they, on the other hand, have learned to know us. Unfortunately, even with all the time in the world, we could provide the more narrow-minded with an insight to our lives, and they would still have very little understanding of why we do what we do. But I guess that's just the world we live in. Either way. We're still going to tuck our dicks between our legs, pull up our tights, and strut out the front door like the fierce bitches we are. There are two moments in the life of any fag that you can never forget: your first kiss with another man, and your first argument with a heterosexual friend who doesn't understand the difference between being a homosexual and wanting to be a woman. On first sight. I can't calibrate which will be repeated more times during our sexually emancipated lifetime. Lucky enough, I can tell you which we all prefer to be repeated: the argument with the heterosexual friend, if it ends in a long, wet, passionate kiss. Confrontation is a big part of the life of a drag queen. We can only hope that it's used in circumstances of humour and entertainment. But unfortunately, that's not always the case. It almost seems silly for something as simple as a man dressing in women's clothes to break up families and friendships, but this is an extremely common theme. Everyone deserves to be loved in my eyes, no matter what or who they choose to do. It shouldn't make a difference. We are brought into this world with unconditional love. Why is it that this would ever change?